It was well over a hundred years ago that it was first proposed that the immune system could recognize and reject cancer cells. Over the last 10 years, however, we've seen this hypothesis start to bear fruit in the clinical treatment of patients with advanced malignancies. I study the immune system and its interaction with brain cancer, one of the most aggressive and difficult to treat tumors that we encounter in the oncology setting. As we have learned more about the genetic basis of cancer, we have begun to understand the incredible complexity that exists at the genomic level within given malignancies. This heterogeneity of gene expression that exists between patients with the same cancer type, or between a primary and recurrent tumor within the same patient, and even within individual cancer cells that coexist within a given patient's tumor, makes the challenge of developing very specific and targeted therapies for these cancers extremely complex. In particular, we use the genetic material that is expressed within tumor cells in the form of messenger RNA as a shuttle to carry those antigens to the cells of the immune system, where we hope to prime the T cells and other immune effector cells to recognize the alterations that exist within these tumor cells and to engender a very specific and coordinated immunologic attack against invasive brain cancers. One of the advantages that our program has found here at the University of Florida is that not only do we have an, an already integrated brain tumor center, but one of the unique structures here, the McKnight Brain Institute, actually brings together basic researchers who focus on various aspects of neuroscience and neurobiology, along with the clinicians who are involved in taking care of patients with the diseases of the brain. I'm Dwayne Mitchell, and I'm part of the Research Landscapes at the University of Florida.